Well, hey, this is Edward. Welcome to more Geek Thing Gay. This week we got Joseph joining us back again. Ta-da! And no, we're not doing it outside because this is just, even at night, outside is, oh, look, a hummingbird. But out, outside is just a weird place for, for my people to be. But I, I'm being distracted by the hummingbird. It's got a little red belly. It's a cute little hummingbird. And it's it's just sucking down on, on olive flowers. But, um... You will hear me at the end recommend a couple little podcasts. Please do give them a chance. Give them a shout out. You know, check them out. And that would be um, Scream Queens. Part of the reason why I'm putting this up front also is because Patrick of Scream Queens has been always very friendly with the podcast. And he is up for a podcast award right now. So go ahead and... Do a search for Scream Queens or follow the link that I will put with the podcast and check him out. Go vote. He's been nominated a couple times in the past, but it's always up against very stiff competition. And it would be lovely to see him win one year. So Scream Queens with a Z. Vote for him as one of your favorite podcasts. And then also Seder Sphere. If you check into this week's Seder Sphere episode, you'll get to listen to me talk about why... On RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, after Buzz uh, and on RuPaul's Drag Race, they were both, well, RuPaul's Drag Race after Buzz decided to try to correct Ru about um, the Shakespearean use of the word drag. And I, you know, if you're going to correct Ru, let me correct you. You're both wrong. Drag doesn't come from Shakespeare. And if you want to hear more in depth on that, you can either check out the Sage Sphere, where for some reason I rant about that. I don't know why, and I'm so sorry, Scott. Or you can just ask me, and I'll let, I'll give you the detailed information as to why that's not true. But you didn't come here for that right now. You came here to check out our latest episode, and so without any further ado, it's time for me to hit play on the music. Let the music play. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. We've been walking. Tiny white. set up search parties to look for freshly buried lumps in the backyard. Surprisingly, he wants me still in this thing. Especially okay. since he always, the last, what, what, two or three episodes, conveniently was, I was out of town when you did them. But that, but, see, you, you make this sound true. like there's some sort of suspicious true. thing. True, true, true. Are you out of town right now? No, but I'm exhausted. Did I, did I, and you were busy all weekend? I made sure to wait for you to be available. Because you were busy too, that's the only reason why. No, I didn't have to be busy those times. Yeah, you did. How did I have to be busy? You had to go to DEF CON. I did. You had to go to the zoo. I didn't have to go to the zoo. I didn't have to go to DEF CON. Well, you certainly didn't stay home and cleaned. I did dishes. Last night. You didn't stay home and clean either. Because I had to be out. See? That's how that works. You didn't have to. I did. Okay. So, hi. Good morning. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, wait. That's the end. Yeah, yeah. I'm like going, wow. Just jumping right there. Like, well, you well, said you wanted this short. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted it short. I said I wouldn't be offended if it was short. Or I wouldn't be surprised if it was short. Because I don't think, I don't know if we have a lot of stuff to talk about. 
Not really. Yeah, see? Because we've been just busy with other weird little things. So, um, what do you want to talk about first? Your weekend. My weekend? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. Let's see what you didn't have to do but did anyways. Wow, see, wow, little, little, sounds like a little, a, a little bit of a tone there almost. Mm. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> as you look away in complete disinterest. Um, you know what I'm going to DevCon? What is DevCon? DevCon is a local convention, a, a free convention at this moment, that uh, occurs at ASU West. It's the second year. It's their second annual. They called last year's the first annual. and Yeah, we have issues with that. Yeah, it, as does Sharon Skinner. She was right there with me. On a lot the of people whole. do. Yeah, I'm like, well, you, a lot you, of people, you, you can't call something first annual. Right, it's an inaugural. And then, hopefully you have it or a year a premiere. later. Or a or premiere. A premiere. A premiere is fine. Premiere is fine. But you don't have an annual until you have it for the second time. Exactly. And hopefully that's a year later. Yes. Or anything. I don't know what you call it if it's like a if it's a monthly thing and it's a, a month later, like a miserial. I don't know, but um, it basically put on by the kids at ASU West, and I mean I know that probably a lot of them probably wouldn't think of themselves as kids, but yeah, they're, they're kids yeah, to us because yeah, cause we would have kids at their age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our kids would be their age. Um, this is the first year that they courted art um, authors. Yes, um, they. Um, they do a lot of cosplay stuff, and so the authors that I spoke to actually really liked it there, but at the same time, it really hadn't set itself up for authors yet. Uh, Duncan, a friend of ours who does book sales, he actually even reported that while the sales weren't brisk, he actually enjoyed it there. He, he thought they got a very good reception and I think he's looking forward to possibly doing it again in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and I ran into Sharon Skinner, that, that, uh, an author that we know, and we also um, hung out with um, Terry... T.L. Smith. T.L. Smith. Thank you. I'm like, what's her last name? T.L. Smith. It's not Brooks. Yeah, T.L. Smith. Another and, author. Another author. I got to run into actually a, a brand new author who I don't remember her name. I, 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 I bought her book. She has cute little dragons. Or cute little health. Um, they're in the living room. The book's in the living room. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so... Um, I still don't know where he's going. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And... Um, oh, and then I ran also into um, I ran into another author who who unfriended me on Facebook, <laughs> and I ran into that author mere minutes after explaining to the other authors the tran what transpired uh, because it happened in public on Facebook. It's not like it's any sort of secret to what transpired. So so that was an interesting little little moment of awkward. <laughs> So, but it was a fun little con. Um, like I said, it's it's small, but they they seem to be really having fun there. So that was really nice. It would be nice to it'll be nice to see how this one grows, especially once now that they've started spreading out into hey, let's get an author, get some authors in, and see what they do in the future with authors. So, and that was Saturday. What did you do on Saturday? Saturday. Um, the Gay and Lesbian Association of Darts uh, fundraising group called Have a Heart hosted their annual um, variety show and underwear auction. And this year, for the first time, this is the seventh year they've been, they've done this. Yes, the seventh year. Okay. And for the first time, I was an underwear model. Dun, 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 da, da, yeah. Dun, dun. Good news. Good news is is the fact that it this event um, this was like from one thirty to five thirty, roughly. Um, this event this event raised over six thousand dollars. Yay! Exactly. And one of the pairs of underwear went for four hundred and fifty dollars. 
That's Yay! our our rent. Well, not the whole rent. Yeah, that is. Well, our part. Of our it. part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not the rent for the. Whole, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I can't even imagine. And of course, I wasn't the model for that. But you know, I, not of course. Not, no, my my underwear didn't go over forty bucks. Forty five dollars was the most expensive. You still made money. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is See I'm not fat enough to be a bear, and I'm not skinny enough to be a twink. Well, okay. But I do have good legs. You're not young enough say. to be a twink. No, it's not, not skinny enough. Twinks no, 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 no. Once you're, once you hit a certain age, you can be skinny all you want. You're not a twink anymore. You're a tweaker. It's there's a difference. There is not a difference because you could be skinny and not be a twinker. twinker. You could be, but no one's gonna think automatically twink. <laughs> Trust me, at a, yeah, certain, they will. at a certain point, the, the wrinkles say, not a twink. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, that's what I did on Saturday. Okay. So, was that fun? Yeah, it was fun. Exhausting. Yeah, no, no, see. You, tired. You had a very exhausting weekend. Yes. Yes. Two exhausting weekends. But you did, yes. Because yes. we haven't even talked about your weekend last weekend. Previous weekend. Yes. Last weekend was... Yesterday. Well, last weekend, last weekend. Previous That's weekend. Yeah. No, you said last weekend. I said last weekend, last weekend. Don't you roll your eyes? I didn't roll my you eyes. Rolled, you rolled. No, no, you so see, rolled in my eyes. Rolled your rolling eyes. my eyes is like... You so rolled your eyes. That's rolling my eyes. You so rolled. And then, you know, and then Saturday night, he goes out all night. Karaoke! Close the bar. Exactly. <laughs> I, wake, I wake up at one thirty in the morning and he's still not home. What you gonna do? It's karaoke. I think I saw at nine o'clock that night. Yeah, you were in bed kind of early because you were tired. I know, but I think Saturday night I was. I think I saw at nine o'clock Saturday night. Well, you you were up till nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much after nine. No, because karaoke started at nine thirty. Yeah, and I didn't get there until about ten. Yeah, you waited till I was asleep before you left. No, I waited. What did I wait? No, I was actually doing stuff online. Yeah, but looking up, setting up, looking for dates. See to is, join them for karaoke. This is what I did. Let's see. No, no, you were looking for people to to join you no, for karaoke. No, I was not. Was not into, like, once I got there, I realized I should have asked people to go to karaoke. You posted it as like you know I'm all here alone for karaoke. I, uh, after I got there, because it was dead. I thought I was showing up late for karaoke, and no, he hadn't even gotten started. It was about 10.30 before he finally got started. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when I'm like, oh, oh, okay. It's kind of dead here. <laughs> so, yeah, that was after I already got there. I fully expected to see the same type of crowd that was there the previous week. Oh, you went there the previous week? Yeah, Archie. Yeah, Archie, me, and Gary went. I thought you heard us talking about that. No. Yeah. Yeah, we went the previous week. While you were in Tucson at the Tucson Book of Book of Festivals, <laughs> the Tucson Festival of Books, Books, Books. So what'd you do yesterday? But well, we're not going to talk about the Tucson Festival. No, of books. we still have to finish this last weekend. Oh, okay. Or this past weekend. Okay. I yesterday I went to the zoo. I went outdoors. You were outdoors at DevCon. Eh. It's not not much. Not much. No, 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 no. My, my people don't really do outdoors. Um, <laughs> and so, like, yeah, outdoors, looking at animals. I got my, I got my toes bit by birds. Birds liked my toes. And got to see monkeys and 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 some lazy, lazy um, lions. That's all they do. They're cats. And then uh, a lazy bear. And well, and bears are nocturnal. Yeah, the Andean bears, yeah, they're all hot. Oh. It's also hot for them, too. It is. That's the thing, is around noon is when we started noticing that all the animals were just sitting in the shade asleep. <laughs> around noon is when we're like, going, oh, okay, well, not going to really get too many great pictures of animals now. Got to see the gibbons. And um, did, did you hear the gibbons? Did not hear the gibbons. Did not hear the howler monkeys either. I was very disappointed that we didn't get to hear the howler monkeys because I love howler monkeys. Yeah. But the howler monkeys were all like waiting for lunch. They were just both sitting there staring at the opening, waiting for 
and then someone came and brought food out and it was like, oh, okay, so the howler monkeys were just waiting for lunch. That's how come they weren't even looking out at the crowd. Yeah. So, uh, got to see toucans and flamingos. Mm -hmm. So, and um, turtles. Turtles. Well, you see that. You don't have to pay to see that. That's outside of the zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People dump off their pets there. Yeah, oh. Got to see a cute little um, ground squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. That was outside the zoo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Got to see lots of crows. Crows. I like crows. It's, don't have to pay to go to, the, go to the zoo to see crows. But yeah, but it's not that expensive to go to the zoo. It wasn't. At first I thought it was going to be, but that's like this whole weird package thing. Well, that's if you sign up as a member. Well, and if you want to go see Ice Age 4 in 4D, and if you want to... Mm -hmm. Do the carousel you know, and feed, yeah, and feed the stingrays. Yeah, I got to see the stingrays. I was like, oh, look, stingray. Hmm. And um, if you want to ride a camel and stuff like that, and you know, hey, got to hang out in the monkey villa or monkey village mm -hmm. or whatever. And tip when you go to a monkey village, monkeys have the right of way, monkeys always will have the right of way when you go to the monkey village. And when they say monkey village, they pretty much mean squirrel monkey. Yeah. <laughs> At least there weren't Phoenix other does. yeah, there weren't other monkeys hanging out there. At least Phoenix. Yeah. There was a there was a, a, a heron hanging out there. That's not a monkey. That's not a monkey at all. It's a heron. And some ducks. Mean ducks. The meanest ducks I've ever seen were at the zoo. Because they have, they're spoiled. I'm like, damn. They're not scared ducks. Of, they're not scared of humans, they're spoiled. The, the, there was a duck that shoved an antelope or something like that into a ditch. Because it can. It, yeah, this is, I was watching this duck before that happened. I'm like, and he was just stomping around. Rrr, 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 like, like, duck was having a bad day. Like he was a tough duck and everything. And then he came and shoved this antelope into a ditch. Duck was having a bad day. I guess bad day duck. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was that was yesterday. We we did like a whole. I actually got on on my phone. It it measures like how many steps I take, and I actually did all my steps. And I was thinking, oh, what happens when I hit all my steps? Does my phone like, does it do like a congratulations or like a little or anything? No, it just says new record set, and I'm like going, okay. When you put it new record set, that seems to almost imply that you think I actually think of this as a record that needs to be beat. And if you're not going to give me some sort of fanfare for having completed the goal, then no, I don't care about beating the record. So, eh. And it's a goal that my phone set for me. Okay. It's a feature on the phone. <laughs> and, and, I don't have that feature. Yeah, you're lucky. It, it, it bitches at you when you haven't been walking for a little while. Actually, actually that like, would be a good feature for me with all the cons that we do. Where, well, actually, we could probably put it on your phone. I'm sure there is a there's photographer probably, out there. Yeah, there's a, probably an app. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what this is. It's yeah, just a weird app thing. I got the pedometer that Larry gave me a couple of, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And I wore that for um, San Diego Comic Con this last year. And I was averaging, I think it was like between uh, roughly about 14,000 steps every day at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah, I, we did about, I, I did close to 12. At, yeah. at um, the, the zoo. zoo. Yeah. Which, and every 2,000 is supposed to be roughly a mile. So, mm. yeah. We shall see. I don't know. Yeah. But that is, that's what I did yesterday. I did the zoo. That's my, I just kept on waiting for the spots of the zoo that were indoors. Because you can't take pictures well on a phone outdoors. I can't see anything. All I see is the reflection of my own face. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can't tell. I, I'm just going to... Okay, there's a rock. I'm just going to push point in the direction of that rock and hope that I get a tiger. And I did. I was really happy because I... That's had... why I take multiple shots. That's what I did too. I just took multiple shots and just went, I'm just going to hope for the best. I can't see... Um, the roommate that dare not speak his name would periodically take the map and shade me. And I'm going, oh, there's the, the lemurs. <laughs> I can now say the lemurs. All right. They did not dance. The movie lied to us. No, they don't dance. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of. 
the, the movie out. lies to everybody. Yeah, that, because they they this San Diego Zoo, so it lies to everybody about everything. And and the lemurs actually all have islands, and they they just kind of hang out at their little enclosures, even though the enclosures are open and they can just do just whatever hot. they want. No, that's true. But they just kind of hung out standing on that's their That's all they do. They're hot. Yeah. I wonder how they got an island. Because that's what they prefer. I guess, yeah. So what did you do yesterday? Yesterday uh, was the fourth annual Dodge Hunger Dodgeball Tournament that Joshua Tree hosts. And it isn't Dodge for the one. first... Yeah, you wouldn't anyways. You're not athletic. I'm not. My people don't do these things. So we had the most teams ever. We had 13 teams. Which was so much fun trying to figure out, you know. Yeah, how do you do an odd number? It was, it was interesting. Okay. Because I ended up being the one doing the brackets. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you odd number brackets. Yeah. It was or interesting. bracket odd numbers. Yeah, okay. it, was, it was interesting. I know how to do it because of the Dart League, you know, and they do the tournament every year. Um, but it was fun. It was inter- a long, long, long day. It was there from 7.30 until, what, 3.30? Yeah, but I thought you said you were going to be there until 6, so yeah. I was surprised at how quickly you were done. No, um, but it was fun. The Desert Derby Dolls had two teams. Oh, um, that they had more than two teams. No, two teams. Oh, okay. And then they almost had three, but they ended up with two. Um, the National Dodgeball Association had three teams. Um, Taros had a team. Southwest Center had a team. Uh, Joshua Tree had a team. Joshua Joshua Tree had a team. For the first time, our volunteers wanted to play, and I'm like, "Have fun." See you later. I don't play. Have My fun. lungs would kill me. <laughs> Have fun. Don't win. Yeah, and they were winning. <laughs> they were actually they they came, they ended up coming in like fifth or sixth place. I don't I don't have the brackets with me. I don't know for sure. Yeah. But it was just one of those things. Is like lose, yeah, don't, lose don't. now. Throw the game. It looks. It looks. It doesn't look. It good. looks suspicious. But uh, and then oh, and the Imperial Court showed up. And the Imperial Court showed up. First time in ever. First time there. And they're already talking about on Facebook today of, you know, they they want to do it another they want to do it next year and can it be, you know, every six months? Why do we have to why does it have to be a year? That is a good question. Why does it have to be a year? Because it's a pain in the ass. Is it that big of a pain? Oh in the my ass? god, it's such a pain in the ass to put is this it big, together. Is it a pain in the ass just put it together or is it a pain in the ass because To put it together. Okay. There you go. Yes, to put, to it, put together. it together. But it's fun. Um, Project Hard Hat did a barbecue, and then Stacy's barbecue was the food truck. And Remember we, we've had St- that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. We've had Stacy's. I yeah. enjoy. They Stacey's. had a restaurant near well na- now where we live near us. Yeah, not where they were open. Um, There's a replacement restaurant there. Now. Yeah, I haven't I been don't, to we it. haven't been to it yet. But he closed that restaurant and now has a food truck, and it's still good. Still really good. He doesn't have a deep fryer yet, so, so he no sweet potato fries. No free, su- sweet potato fries. No f- catfish and no um, okra, fried okra yet. But I had a barbecue chicken wrap. That was a look of disappointment over the yeah, okra. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know how I am with okra. I know, but you know he said he's going to be getting that within the next six months. Oh, all right. so that was really cool. I don't know how much money he made, but you know, hey. Hopefully, you guys. I mean, because I thought last year you guys said that the food trucks made good money off. The of you guys. last year the food truck made good, really good money. Um, but I don't know about this year. Yeah, okay. I was too busy doing brackets, so I didn't get a chance to go over and talk to him. Okay. Who normally does the brackets? Glenn. Oh, why wasn't he doing the brackets? Because... He was on the team! No, No. he wasn't on the team. (laughs) No, what... Glenn found a a program on the computer Uh that would automatically do the brackets and stuff like this. Problem is, is that as soon as you put in a team name, you couldn't change it. Because some of the teams... Even though it, the game, the, we stated that the game started at 10, they did, all their members weren't there at 10 o'clock to start. So we, at the first half hour, we were trying to, was like, okay, we'll move this team up to play against this team because, you know, and, but when he set up the brackets, <coughs> because of the program, <coughs> they wouldn't let you switch the names. Oh. It was a horrible program we found. <coughs> so I ended up doing, man, doing it manually just because the fact is, like, you know, a program should have let you change it. You would think. You would, you would think. think. You would think. No, it doesn't. So, after half hour, 40 minutes, I'm like, give it to me. I'm just doing it manually. I'm, I'm butch. I know how to... I'm, I do sports. I've done brackets. Yeah. 
I've done brackets. I, I use dice to ran for the randomizer and all that. So, I just assign everything a different name number. Yeah. Oh, and then we got a really good compliment from Kick. Kick. Kit um, uh, Kleckel, for, uh, who is the executive director of Aunt Rita's Foundation, which is the um, AIDS organ largest AIDS organization here in Phoenix. And he came over and just just checked us out because yeah, anybody could come over and watch the games and stuff. And we're in public. Yeah, yeah, it's we're in a park. We're in a park. And so he came over to show support and stuff like this, and he was very impressed with how well organized we are. And, and how many people were there, and he wants to do it next year. Cool. And it was funny, and he, he went back to the office, Aunt Rita's Foundation's office, and came back with all these um, um, sunscreen bottles uh, for everybody. Yeah, sunscreen's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah for the sunscreen's HIV, not so yeah, much. Yeah, <laughs> the HIV um, AZ.org sunscreen bottles. And nobody wanted them. He said that a, th a third of the people only took it. Really? Everybody else was like, no, no, it's okay. I know. Speaking of. You get what? better light. <laughs> Why? Because I'm so dark? You're you're darker and you're coming out dark. You're coming out even darker, darker. Well, so because, now you're in better light. Because, you know, I've been out in the sun. So You've been out in the sun. I was out in the sun, too. But yeah. I was not looking as dark as you. See, now we're looking about the same. Yeah. True, yeah. true. Because I'm, I'm Casper Pale. Correct. Well, according to the pictures from the underwear auction, I'm very pale, too. Probably not anymore. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I was out in the sun. You were out in the sun. Now I got the Farmer John tan right here. Yeah, see, I don't got any sort of tan yeah, thing going on. It's, it reminds me of that one picture on Facebook. It's like, Mexico, America. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that picture? That no. Somebody, it was on a Mexican arm, and somebody drew a line right here, and it said, Mexico, USA. <laughs> it was really cute. I did not see that. Oh, yeah, that was on a couple, about a month or so ago. Okay. Yeah. And so that was it, and I was so exhausted that I was asleep by 8. You were asleep very early. Yeah, I slept at, well, no, actually, was, I saw Big Bang, one episode of Big Bang, so I fell asleep about 8.30, and I woke up at 5.30. Okay. Okay. And I didn't do much except for laundry today. I didn't even go to the post office. No. Oh. Well, that's okay. It's better that you rest. Mm. You had two very busy days. And I got a meeting tomorrow. Okay. At 7.45. Okay. Wow. That's really... I think it's 7.45. That's, that's really or early. maybe 7.30. Why so early? It's coffee um, with Mayor Greg Stanton. There's a bunch of us... Organi there's a bunch of organizations that are getting together with him. Greg Stanton doesn't like brunch? Well, he's got to possibly do coffee and before he goes into work. He could do... Mimosas after he's been at work for a little while and seen what sort of headache is there. That's always the best time to do mimosas. Nah. And Bloody Marys. Nah, I don't like Bloody Marys. You don't? See, I like Bloody Mary better than mimosa. I prefer mimosas, but then I don't like tomato juice. Oh, well, see. I'm not, I don't I'm like not tomatoes. I don't like champagne. Champagne? Champagne. 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 <laughs> but, so, well, uh, okay. Okay. Uh. I'm so sitting down now. because, you know, hey, it hurts standing up. Oh, yeah. What else you got? Uh, that was my weekend. That was your weekend? And yeah, I included today. That included today? That it included, did. Yes. But you had a last weekend. I did just talk about last weekend. You had a last, last weekend. Okay. <laughs> On March 14th and 15th. Keep talking. Uh, wait, wait, okay, March, let's go back. Uh, Friday the 13th, um, Jeannie Koch, myself, and T.L. Smith, we drove down to Tucson for the Tucson Festival of Books. We left in the afternoon because um, we were meeting a bunch of local RWA Tucson authors at El Corral for dinner, and they had prizes, and you run bought raffle tickets and whatnot, and, and um, it was good because it was, aside from T.L. Smith and, no, that was it. Everybody else was the same people from the previous table for the previous year. And I won, a, I won an auction item. Um, what I won, I won a Doctor Who uh, gift bag. And so there is um, a coffee mug, there is... Um, a Doctor Who po uh, 
bookmark. There was a Doctor Who Mad Libs. And there was a Doctor Who Trivial Pursuit. Da, da, da. Of which I was not which doing he did, so hot. Yeah, and Edward didn't do so hot for a Whovian. He was very disappointing. Well, yeah, I know better. Exactly. So then um, that was that Friday night. And then on Saturday uh, was the first day of Tucson Festival of Books. Now, Tucson Festival of Books is an outdoor book festival on the Green Lawn. It's a half mile long. Big. Huge. The fourth largest in the country. Oh, it's the fourth. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's the fourth largest. And it's on this um, campus of U of A. It's okay. It's okay. There were books. Yeah, there were they books. They buffered you. Yeah, exactly. The closest parking garage that Jeannie is allowed to park in because she does panels, so she gets the special parking garage than everybody else. It's still a, <coughs> it's still a quarter of a mile away. It's an outdoor festival. They have no overnight security, so we had to set up and tear down both days. Yes. Um, we had Duncan and Andrea help, Jeannie and I, so thank you both for helping us. And um, I did hurt myself. He hurt himself. Yes. Because I... it wouldn't be a weekend out of town if he didn't hurt himself. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled a muscle on my side. Pulled a muscle on his side. On Saturday night. So, so that yay, meant all wait, Sunday. All day Sunday I was given strict orders of not to do anything, not to move anything, and... And T.L. Smith was giving me pain, uh, muscle relaxers. And so, but it was good. It had a good time. We were very successful. We had fun. Um, it, we were in this giant tent called Arizona Dreaming, which had 20 plus authors in there. And what was interesting, and we poofs. all... Yes. We all work <laughs> with each other. So what it is, so if you came up to our um, tent and anywhere in the tent... And they said, you know, it's like, what do you like to read? Well, I like to read historical romance. Well, over there is so-and-so, and, -so, and you, she writes, or he writes. And so that's what we were doing with everybody. And they were doing that with us, too. So um, where we were, we had, um, we were in the corner. So Jeannie and myself, and then T.L. Smith, and then we have Jeff Marriott, um, Marcella Rockwell. So we were basically the science fiction horror Chunk. corner. And that's what and anybody who said they liked that, they would send it over to us and vice versa. Who doesn't like that? Well, there's people who don't. We had, you know, we I had, don't we had every genre in that <laughs> tent unless you wanted nonfiction. Oh. There were people who wanted nonfiction. It's oh, like, yeah. you know, I oh, like yeah. to read biographies. Well, oh, yeah. you're not going to find it here. I, I, Everything I, I, that we had was fiction. But there was westerns, there was historical, there was romance, you name it. If it was fiction, we had it. And I got books, 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 got books, 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 books. Um, I got Morgan Kearns, um, In It to Win It. It's part of her, this is the first one. Is that one. the one that we read her other? Yeah, it the... was the one that out on the field that I yes. got a year and a half ago. This is the first one of the series. It's the Las Vegas um, Rockets uh, book. So I'm, lo I'm looking forward to reading this. And it's I really... It yeah. even says, signed by Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, she did sign it. <laughs> Going, no, that, that's when you go, yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. See? Yeah, there she is. Signed she by Morgan. Sign. And then, so, I like the series, so I have to, so I'm reading it first. Or I'm reading the first book of the series. You're moving the thing. I'm, did I move it? No, I'm just making sure it's You're more secure. You're adjusting it. I'm just making sure it's more secure. Okay. And then the other book I got was, uh, was Chris Lewis. Uh, a Woman of Choice. This is the first book of her Hanson series. This is, histo mm -hmm. this is um, historical fiction. Oh, well, there's a tornado on the back. Yes, it's 18... It's a twister! It's a twister! It's 1819 in the Missouri Territory. So this is historical fiction. Hey, Outlander chick likes it. Huh? Diana Gabaldon. Uh, yeah, Diana Gabaldon. 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 Yeah, so, she likes it. I've been interested in the in this series, and... Every time I see Chris, by the time I'm able to get to her table, she's always out of it. And I don't want to start reading this series unless it's book one. That's me. Understandable. Yeah. I mean, I only read Morgan's um, book that was out of the... Out of the... Out, uh, out of order. order. Out of order. Yeah. Because she wanted my honest opinion about yes. it. Yes. And then I got T.L. Smith's... Uh, this came out That's a week ago. Name. This is a, Yeah, this came out a little... Uh, 
the week of Tucson Comic Con, Tucson Festival of Books. So this is the Star People Legacy. Okay. This was interesting uh, how she described it. It was basically that she, you know, it it's um, female military perspective in the uh, 50 years from now, and it deals with Native American mythology. Yes. Yeah. I heard I heard her spill all week, and I could tell you. Yeah, when in one of her panels, I I asked her like, which of her books would she recommend for a new for someone to like delve into but keep in mind i don't want to read anything about feisty women or military so and she threatened to throw something at me but um <laughs> so then saturday night so I, I picked up another one of her books yes See? defending the hypocrites she said that this is kind of legal-ish well yeah so i went oh well that makes sense i i, I like legally so hey so, so, Saturday night. Saturday night, we went to El Charo, downtown Tucson. Um, we Jeannie had our food with fans, as always. Had a good time. Uh, Sunday night, we went, all of us, a, a, a bunch of us went to Shogun, which is a really good sushi house in Tucson. Not one of those all you can eat, but, you know, as much as we ate, it still only came down to, like, 25 a person. Oh, that's not bad. And we ate a lot. They kicked us out. Oh. Well, you know, we were, they closed it. What, nine, and we were there at quarter to ten? Oh, okay. Mind you, we didn't show up until about 8.30. Yeah. But it's Sunday night, so most places don't stay open late on Sunday nights. Especially in Tucson, where they roll up the sidewalks after midnight. <laughs> Wait until he starts talking about how they drive. Oh, Lord. See? Um, <laughs> turn on the blinker half a mile before you're going to turn. Yeah. At least you use the blinkers, unlike Phoenix. Use the blinkers. Phoenix says they don't even use blinkers in Phoenix. It's all through psychic waves. Yeah, exactly. So that was Tucson. That was Tucson? That was basically Tucson. I mean, we came home on Monday. Yeah. Went to, uh, for lunch, we went to Lula, or something, some tamale house that's been around since 1922. Food is okay. Jeannie likes it. She loves her tamales, and yeah, the tamales are, I've had better. I don't eat the tamales there. Besides, the tamales are out of season right now anyways. See, that's the real thing there. So, so please, feel free to sponsor us if you, if you want to. Or anything. We, it, it's nothing wrong with your tamales at all. It's that they're out of season, according to him. Tamales yeah. have a season. <laughs> tamales have a season. ain't in March. I don't, I don't comprehend tamale season. You don't eat tamales, so you don't comprehend anything. I don't, yeah, that's true. I don't, but it just seems like... Can't you just make them any time of the year? Nope. That's like saying turkey is like only for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Why would you have it at Christmas? That's not when you have turkey. What do you have at Christmas? You have ham at Christmas. Ham is for Easter. No, you have ham at Christmas and Easter. You have ham. Ham is for the holy days. Christmas. Because we're flaunting, because you're flaunting it in the faces of the Jews. That's that's why you do it. Yeah, for the, the Christian holidays, you have ham so that you go, Ha, Jews, you don't get this. And then Thanksgiving, turkey. that's not a holy day, so Tur you can turkey have turkey. For Christmas. Or you have Ham's. goose. Oh, do you know how hard it is to find goose? No, I've never actually looked for goose. Jeannie and I looked. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember you saying about how like you couldn't... Did you ever actually find a goose? Yes. Okay. Frozen. Frozen goose. That's no, it wasn't goose. It was duck. We got duck over so you at never the found Asian goose. market. Nope. Never, never found goose. goose. See? We had to go to the Asian market. Anyone to find knows where to find duck. goose in Phoenix to, to like cook, without actually having to kill and pluck it yourself? Let us know. Apparently, Can't we're looking goose. for goose. Yeah, Trader Joe's didn't have it. The Lily's market didn't have it. So, oh, you got your stuff. I also did buy Sharon's um, book that she recommended. She recommended another book. But yes, then, The Legacy. Yes, but then I got Mirabella instead because... He doesn't listen. Well, and she also was talking about how in this one she got a quote from... She used a quote from one of Peter Beagle's books and how she fangirled over Peter Beagle. And then we talked about how what a lovely man he is and... All that. So this one seemed to be a little bit more, more the one to get. Mm -hmm. 
And I got, the, I, 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 this is the book of the girl that I don't know who she is. The Devil's Codex. Not to be confused with Codex, because that would just be weird. <laughs> the Devil's Codex by Sidney Reitz. And it's, it's apparently, I, I, I have to admit, I bought it because she has these cute little hell devils that she was, or hell bats that she was selling. Yeah. And then I found out that she had a book that went with them, and I went, okay, new author, I'll support your, I'll support you. And, like, I bought it, it looks interesting, but I don't really know much about it, it's like a, it's like yeah, a lucifer -y thing. And, um... <laughs> But I found it interesting how many people ask you when, like, going, oh, would you like me to sign it? And I'm going, sure. Now, do you want me just to sign it, or would you like me to personalize it to your name? And I'm going, I'm not selling this on eBay. Yeah, sign it to my name. You know, so, <laughs> like, why, why wouldn't I want you to put my name on it? But, and then help bats. But, because the help bats were adorable. Apparently she makes them by hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of like she she's her own Hellbat factory. Oh. Uh, yeah, as compared to me being the Poof factory. But you haven't made any Poofs. I made Poofs last weekend. You there's two still a supply. Ago. There's still a two supply of Poofs. There's okay two weeks ago. There's still a, a su surplus of Poofs. You know the book tour is going to be here quickly. No, I don't. I was going to ask when's the next time that you guys need Poofs. Before, because I'm assuming that uh, well, there's something before Comic-Con. Technically, Comic -Con. we need them by Saturday. Jeannie, like this upcoming Saturday? Yeah, Jeannie has a book signing this Saturday. Okay. In, in Mesa. Well, you got a surplus of poofs. You can take those poofs to the, to the, to the signing in Mesa. And then Alien Separation comes out on Cinco de Mayo. But we're, she's not having a signing on Cinco de Mayo, because having a signing on Cinco de Mayo in the Southwest is stupid. La, 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 la. And then we leave for San Diego on the 7th. Makes okay, sense. and that's tour, not... That's book tour. Okay, so I need to have poofs prepared by May. Yes. Okay, because you guys got poofs for this upcoming weekend. You're good for this upcoming weekend. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do. I think we had like four or five. I thought you had more than that left. We sold two in Tucson. Yeah, and I thought I sent you down there with ten. No, you sent us down with eight. I thought we had eight until I got you those extra ones that you guys came and picked up. No, I, thought it was, I thought we started with eight. I thought you guys... I don't know. I didn't it, go to Genie's but, last week, so I don't know the inventory. Yeah, yeah. But, so, does that catch everyone up with everything we've been doing? Yep, that's it. That's okay. all we got. That's what we've been we're doing lately. Now, we did watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Last week, but you already talked about that. I didn't talk about the latest episode. We didn't talk about... Um, what was it? Drag spear? Drag sh Shakespeare drag? Ru yeah, Rue Ru 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 Shakespeare. <laughs> the, the, the Shakespeare challenge. Yeah. Which, okay, I thought it was actually a clever challenge. But, I'm not sure it's something that... It, I thought that they're really ramping up the challenges this season out of the blue. First, the naked challenge. Yeah. Which, okay, I understand that the queens are kind of given a list of... Be what prepared with, be prepared, we may be doing something along these lines. So, but at the same time, wow, that's, we've gone from, like, doing all these things to suddenly this year, you're going to walk down looking naked. You're going to walk out looking like you have a beard. You're going to do Shakespeare. Thank, you're gonna thanks do, to Milk. Yeah. the beard thing. Yeah. But, so, I mean, it just seems like for the first three challenges, we've, we're only three episodes in. I'm talking about two. Only two people have gotten kicked off. Um, it's naked. We're Tempest. Naked. And then airline. Oh, the airline thing. And then yeah, Shakespeare. I forgot about the airline. Yeah, we're I only three episodes. Airline. We're only and the airline thing. They had to work as a group doing even spoken word drag, mm -hmm. which they don't normally do something quite that complicated anywhere near this early in the season. So I'm like waiting to see what they're going to do for the rest of the season because they've already ramped up the first three episodes with like, oh crap, that's a challenge. So, um, and I still say that Miles Davis Moody is maybe needs to not be used as just a background thing because he's, he's a little distracting. Not only because you know him. 
that you even noticed him during After like you the pointed old him out. and he's all bow, 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 you know. <laughs> and you <laughs> pointed him, like, you pointed him out that's how I come I noticed him well the, wait until yeah, tonight's episode you'll see he'll he'll you'll he, I don't know he didn't friend, he didn't accept my friend request so you know well he's got too many friends doesn't matter he can't he can't accept any friend request doesn't matter yeah he didn't accept my friend request he didn't even see your friend request it doesn't matter yeah so but and we're working on getting caught up on things like we're caught up on flash yeah we're caught up on flash we're caught up on gotham we're caught up on gotham yeah yeah the only thing we're not caught up with is the two um marvel's agents yeah marvel's agent shield and agent carter yeah and so next week we'll probably talk about those possibly yeah who knows yeah but so Anything else you want to put out there right now? That's all I got. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and um, Terry, hi. Thank you for the warm wishes on our return. And, and same thing with you. Oh, Montana Girl. Montana Girl. And to you too, Stewie Monster. Stewie Monster! Hi! And again, thank you all for your support during this time and everything. It, it's been great seeing that the numbers kept on growing even when we weren't around. So, and seeing that a lot of you guys are sticking around now that episodes are coming out again. So, yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to try to keep up still with some sort of schedule. Again, no guarantee what exactly that schedule will be right now because we're still trying to work out what our schedules are and how we can schedule ours. You said ours. we were doing Mondays. You made me do this today because it's Monday and you said, it, you know, we're going to be Mondays. I, I said we're going to do it today. <laughs> you said Monday. I said we're doing it today. <laughs> so, so, ta-da! Don't forget about Joshua Tree Feeding Program. They are a, an organization that helps people with HIV and AIDS get food. Um, they also have a sister program that helps feed pets so they don't have to choose between feeding themselves and feeding their pets. And they're entirely volunteer, so any assistance that you would be willing to offer will be greatly appreciated. And their web address is www.jtfp.org. Ta da! Bum, ba -da -bum. Don't forget about um, Patrick of Scream Queens. He's actually nominated for uh, an online award right now. Go check out his website. Just type in Scream Queens with a Z. Z. And th you'll see a link. Go ahead and vote for him. It it's in the entertainment or it's either in the entertainment or GLBT. I can't remember which one. But GLBT? Well, he's a gay podcast. It's LGBT. Can't I put the G first? Not anymore. Not 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 in this century. Really? The G, the, it switched out in the this century. LGBT? No, it's LGBT. No. Oh. Before it was it used to be GLBT, but that's so last century. Well, there we go. Um, go vote for him. Help him get an award. He's been nominated like three or four years in a row now, and but he's he goes up against really stiff competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so, um, and also, you got Seder Sphere, they've always been a friend of our podcast, and so, be a friend of their podcast, and if you're looking for something weird out there, check out Gilbert Godfrey's podcast. Okay, that alone just takes it's gonna be weird. It's, it's oddly not the weird that you expect it to be. He's a big fan of classic movies and stuff like that, and so he talks. They talk about movies and classic TV shows and stuff like that. He had Ken Berry on. That's how I found out that Ken Berry started out as a song and dance man. Mm. Yeah. So that is it for right now. Thank you all, and we look forward to catching you all next time. Feel free to leave comments. We love comments. <laughs>